There are people who are totally sick of what they have done in these liberal hotbed, um, just the far left areas. This is a fitness influencer, Jillian Michaels, who's fleeing California. And she explains how despite having a whole bunch of like brownie points and check boxes in the woke arena, despite being super progressive, growing up liberal in California, having all the things that she has going for her, it's gotten so crazy, she is gone. She is leaving. And uh, yeah, I, I just saw it. I was like, wow, she's really covering a lot. So we're going to break this down a little bit. I grew up here. I'm a woman. I'm a gay woman. My mom's a Jew. My dad's an Arab. I have a black kid. And believe it or not, my son is half Latin, even though he doesn't look like it. I hold a million cards in your game of woke victimology poker. And when I leave California, maybe you've lost your fucking mind. Just maybe. Like, when you, when you have me running from home, um, maybe it's gone way too far. Well Dude. Dude, tell me, I'm just telling you, like, this is not, she's saying, I am not on the other side. She's like, I am a gay woman with a dad who's Jewish or a dad who's Arab, a mom who's Jewish with a black kid and a half Latin kid. I'm gay. Like I, and I'm a woman, like I have all of these things that benefit for this like woke identity politics thing. She's like, I got a Royal flush in identity politics, a Royal flush in status, unearned status based on who I am, how I identify, you know, sexual orientation, that kind of thing. And she's like, it's too much, even for the queen. You know, she's like, I'm the queen of hearts, the ace of spades. I'm the ace of spades. It doesn't really matter. The whole point is she's saying I should be at the top tier of this ideology, but it's so crazy. I had to go. I'm out. We'll keep it going. She breaks it down more. What was the line? Like, like what was it? Like, I guess girl, there's the not thing. enough time. And, you know, I, I actually take this, this line from Bill and um, Elon Musk. And they're like, I actually haven't changed. Yes. The world around me is shifting and I haven't moved. So some of these laws that are passing here are absolutely fucking mind boggling mm -hmm. in relation to crime, protecting our kids. Like we're decriminalizing everything, which arguably, I would probably be okay with, but we're not regulating any of it. Right. So it's like, okay, you're going to decriminalize sex work, but only so women can legally loiter on the streets, like mm -hmm. not to keep them safe, not to have them pay taxes, mm -hmm. not to make them, you know, regularly check for STDs, not to take away the pimps out of the equipment. It's the, like, if you made that argument to me, I'd be like, well, yes, we want, of course. I, I, I love that realization. All of the talking points that the left and these liberal bureaucrats use to justify the crazy shit that they pull, they don't end up doing that. So they're like, yeah, we need to decriminalize sex work because we need to make sure that the sex workers are regularly checked for STDs, that they're not being abused by pimps, that they're paying taxes in this lucrative game of uh, this industry that they're in. But then once they legalize it, as she said, it just makes it so that they can loiter on the streets legally, but no benefit has actually happened from it. And none of the talking points they use to get that through actually is applied afterwards. They don't give a shit. It's like the Planned Parenthood giving safe and affordable prenatal care, and they don't. There's a lot of videos. Uh, I'm not sharing that right now, but there's a lot to point to this argument. When you realize, oh my God, all the talking points that they used to convince me that this was a good idea, they didn't actually go through with any of that.
They just did the worst part only. I, I mean, I could be liberal. I could go there with you. But it, yeah, I, I grew up this way. But when it's like, oh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pass a law for LGBTQ rights so that 24-year-old men can sleep with 14-year-old boys and not have to register as a sex offender because it's just not fair to the gays. I'm like, I, what? It's what? Like, I don't know if you saw that one. That was like, I think, early 2020 when they passed yeah. that law. Mm -hmm. And it's, so I was like, if a 24-year-old man touches my 14-year-old son, oh, I, I will get a gun and yes. take matters into my own hands. Yes. Like, are you fucking kidding? Or the fact that a 12-year-old child can be put on off-label cancer drugs mm. to irreparably change their body. Again, if my son came to me and said, Mom, my daughter, I think I'm trans. I'd say, okay, you know, like, you want to dress this way? You want me to call you? Whatever the heck you want me to address? Fine. Explore it. I love you. I'm cool. Like, do you as long as we're safe. But we're not changing your body until it's fully developed. I'm sorry. Conversation's over. Can Boom. Boom. Listen, I mean, like I said, this is like a, a far left person. A far left person. And she's saying, you get to the children, it's been decriminalized for 24-year-old to have relations with a 14-year-old without be considered, you know, without having to be registered as an offender because it's not fair to gay people. How is it not fair to gay people to not be a predator? Does that make any sense to you? Does it make any sense unless it's exactly what you think it is? It's just degeneracy, degenerate behavior. And then transitioning to the kids, she's talking about the whole trans agenda and how you're giving 12 year olds puberty blockers, destroying their bodies forever, sterilizing them forever because they're possibly going through a phase, possibly being convinced by certain internet personalities, friends at school, TV shows, whatever, it doesn't really matter. She's saying your body will be fully developed, period, end of conversation before any other thing possibly happens. And we'll finish it out because she's just crushing it. Can't get a fucking tattoo. Exactly. Are you crazy? It's insane. Like, I, I, I'm, I, I just can't. It's, it's madness. It's madness to me. I could go on and on and on, and it's madness. I got to look, I got to say that was the most awesome, fully like transparent, liberal to like libertarian I've ever seen. She was like, I'm fleeing California. It should have been for taxes. I'm against all the, the pedo crap. I'm against all of the child transitioning crap. I'm, I'm going to get a gun to take matters into my own hands because like things are going so crazy. And if they, if they keep going that crazy, like I need to do something. So I just, I love the way that she passionately stood up for her kids and left. She's like, I hold a Royal flush in your ideology of identity politics, but it's trash. It's madness. So I'm not sticking around for it. And that's what a lot of people need to see. It's what a lot of people need to say. I'm glad that she had the balls, uh, figurative balls, to say what needed to be said about California. I, I just can't stand California as an entire place, as an entity. So uh, I just, I wanted to share that with you.